What's up, weirdo? Shane Tree Surgeon here, up here at the Ride Factory with my man Brian <laughs> and Flip over there. Me and Brian tied one off last night, so we're both being we're both feeling just a little bit fuzzy this morning. But let me tell you something right now. Flip with his fancy Triumph, uh, everybody with these fast, cool bikes, whole Shane Tree Surgeons getting tired of being on the slowest bike in the group, and it's time to kill an ant with a sledgehammer and bring back the Rocket Three. Look, story. Well, I was going to work on the FXR today, but since I've been doing work here at the Ride Factory, all y'all have been bringing your bikes here, and uh, they're too busy for me to <laughs> work on the bike. So I'm going to let these boys get some work done, and I'm going to go have fun instead. I know it's a real punishment. <laughs> Shelby, we'll see you, man. Do I even remember how to ride a fast motorcycle? <laughs> Imagine that, a Shade Tree Surgeon video and not a Harley Davidson in sight. I don't know why that kind of annoys me. It doesn't really, because I don't care. You, you can't do anything. You could be handing out free blowjob robots to everybody and someone would still find a way to bitch about it. So I, I really don't care, but I just think it's funny that there's people who go like, I can't believe this channel's all about Harley Davidsons. And I just kind of go, well, I mean, I guess you haven't been watching for very long. I don't know what to tell you. It feels rather odd to be riding around a motorcycle that it just instills a different sort of danger. I mean, I feel like my life is in peril at all times on the FXR. Trust me. Eh, you feel like that on the Rocket 3 too? It's just for different reasons. <laughs> All right, picked up friends. Time to pick up some more friends. Old Flip here with the Shade Tree Army shirts on. He's going to ride the Road King, leaving the Bonneville behind because we got to have at least one Harley. And Yama Gang is here on a Kawasaki Dad Jeans bike. With the, with the, yeah, it's bagger day except for me with the Gibby, man. Nice. As always, huge thanks to Burt's Harley Davidson for lending us this Road King for a long-term test review. I don't know how much we're actually testing it, though. We're just kind of having fun on it. Uh, Burt's Harley Davidson, awesome people. And especially awesome because they threw this greasy bastard the keys to a Road King and said, have fun, no strings attached. So if you're in the market for Harley Davidson or used bike, uh, make sure you go hit up Burt's and make sure you tell them that Shade Tree Surgeon sent you. They'll hook you up. Oh, it's bizarre knowing how fast I'm going again. I just have problems with speedometers. If you've been watching the channel for a long time, you'll know that the Rocket 3 didn't have a speedometer that, it, that worked for a very long time either. Oh, oh man. Yeah, just that little half turn in top gear and this thing just walks away man uh, the fxr ain't like that and you know straight ahead first second gear speed yeah it's insane but it's that that top gear roll on that effortless power that really really separates a, a, a motorcycle that makes a lot of horsepower i'm pretty sure the old 80 inch evo only made about 50 horsepower when it was stock and brand new uh, and with 80 plus thousand miles on it it's a bit tired it probably is making nowhere near that oh mr showoff over here doesn't need a whole cul-de-sac to do a u-turn four-cylinder bikes only oh my god we did it <laughs> one two three four holy crap dude the stars have aligned perfect we got uh, dylan needs gas so how's the road king well if there's a gas gauge look it down how this is, shouldn't take that long it's a it's literally a fuel gauge flip yes it needs gas Wait, start it. I think it only works when it's on. Nope, it needs gas. <laughs> Here's another little bit of bartender etiquette for you. When you're out with all your friends, buy rounds. If you show up with three of your buddies and every single one of you pays individually, that's lame. And you know what? The same goes for gas. So if you show up, buy the round, everybody fill up from the same pump. Don't forget to keep your bartender happy. He'll buy you a round. <laughs> God, I supplied the motorcycle, I'm supplying the gas, 
All Flip brought was the habit. One cylinder, two cylinder, three cylinder, four cylinder. Ah, 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 ah. I'm not good at voices. Anyway, I feel like the stars have aligned right now. We have the equation. And we're just a chicken sacrifice away from summoning the spirit of Indian Larry to bless this ride. I'll tell you guys, I have so much stuff planned for the channel right now that I'm super excited about. I want to start taking trips on the FXR. I want to do another trip on the chopper. Uh, I'm just happy to be riding the Triumph Rocket 3 around right now. I've even got some plans for the Road King as well. Basically, everything I'm doing involves traveling. And I can travel within Florida, but I definitely want to go out of state. <laughs> well, there's a will, there's a way, dude. I feel you. I feel you. That's like when I had all my stuff strapped to the chopper, man. They're doing it. And besides a lot of the touring that I want to do, uh, I am still working on Shade Trees Garage, Brap Star Community Garage. That's still a thing I'm working towards. I don't talk about it all the time here in videos because I don't like to share stuff that isn't concrete or that isn't set in stone. But I do talk about it a lot on the Discord server that I have that I speak about it with my patrons on. Yes, I do have a Patreon. No, it's not mandatory. My content will always be free, but when I'm talking about the stuff I'm gonna do, where I'm gonna go, and how I'm gonna spend my money to bring you guys new content, that is something that I talk about with pretty much every day with my patrons on the Discord server. So if you wanna support the channel, uh, please go check out my Patreon. Uh, it all goes towards making more and better content and hopefully one day towards bringing a community garage, a brick and mortar for us all to be able to utilize. Hopefully it'll make that a reality one day. No promises, I don't know if it will, but that's the goal. You just imagine a place where there's no judgment. I mean, look at the pack of motorcycles we're on today. We're on a Triumph, a Harley Davidson, a Suzuki, and a Kawasaki. We're on three cruisers and an adventure bike, two baggers and two straight ahead cruisers. Even though Chantel's bike has bags too. That's what I love. And I just imagine building a brick and mortar spot where you can come, you can learn about motorcycles, you can work on your own bike, you can learn how to work on your own bike, and you can have knowledge shared with you from people who are more experienced than you are, but in a way that you check your ego at the door. Nobody thinks they're cooler than anybody else because of what they ride or how long they've been riding i just a place where we can all come together and share the knowledge that we have and pass down a lot of the knowledge that a lot of these old timers can give to the younger generation coming up into motorcycles and hell i learn from younger people all the time <laughs> look at me dylan's much younger than i am and he's taught me so much about mo working on motorcycles you look at ty who's taught who's like 21 years old who has taught me so much about riding dirt i'm not too proud to learn from somebody who's younger than i am anyway that's the spot i want to create and also just have a space where we can all party that's going to be part of it too hey maybe it'll be uh shade tree surgeons moto community garage slash diner slash brewery slash campground i don't know man uh doesn't exactly roll off the tongue but <laughs> hopefully one day i'm always working towards it and over a long enough timeline success is assured and as long as you never stop trying now you might die of old age before you succeed but hey <laughs> if you stop trying then failure is assured if you always keep trying maybe one day <laughs> yeah i know that we were just at copper tail yesterday which will probably be the video that comes out before this one but when you're trying to get a beer and some food at 11 a.m on a monday your options are pretty limited uh, unless you want to go eat at chili's or something like that and we don't do that around here support local of course i didn't check to see if copper tail was open uh i just assumed uh okay yes there's people here <laughs> me assuming that places are open gets me into trouble sometimes Safety third. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. All the time. Yeah, all the time. I'm just kidding. OSHA, if you're watching. Safety all the time here at Copper Tail Brewery. Always safe. Patrick's doing, uh... My oh, man. The Florida Special. I just didn't know, uh, Florida Special is the beer that I'm drinking, and so maybe you want to drink craft beer. Maybe you want to get into beer that's made local, and everybody should drink local. Uh, but you're used to drinking Michelob Ultras. Florida Special is your deal. Just because it's a craft beer doesn't mean it has to be thick as tar and 15%. They're just as capable of making all day beer. That's awesome. I love that. It's an IPA. It comes out in the So this is everything that's in these barrels over here. 
It's all a rum barrel stout that we did with a brewery out of Estonia. Talking about sharing the love, I know a collab with a brewery out of Estonia. That's freaking awesome, man. What's the name of the brewery up there? In case anybody from Estonia is watching, Poyola. <laughs> oh, Poyola. Oh, yeah, we have some, we we have some of the beers. Yeah. Oh, dude, they make great beer. Did you guys collab with Poyola? I always called it Ohala. Sorry. Oh, yeah, we did. Sorry, no. Friends of Estonia. Collab with Poyola, and then we did a collab with AF out of uh, St. Petersburg. Dude, awesome, man. This is all for sours? Yep. And then we have prep beer. Oh, okay, we are aging sours. Also, uh, look at that, huh? Looks like there's a personal tap room over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's the point in having a brewery if there's not a few perks? Yeah, exactly. What are these? Sours. So they're all laying down carbonate right now. Carbonate's in, you don't add anything. It just does it in the bottle? Yeah, we added a little bit of uh, sugar and yeast into them, and then they'll carbonate up in the bottle, so it'll sit here for six, eight weeks. Sometime. This doesn't look like a lot of beer right here, but it represents a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> if you know anything about sours, uh, really good sours are wildly expensive to produce. We brought this tank through that door. <laughs> yeah. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> It'll do 250 cans a minute. Jesus. So it'll, it'll chuck them out, like you can't really see them coming out, they're coming out so fast. <laughs> 250 a minute it's it fills. That's why I was like, there's a lot of cancer. Holy mackerel. Dude, talk about the obelisk. I feel like I'm in 2001 Space Odyssey right now. Holy, let's get some scale. Flip, go stand over there. Like, Because it's not really, I don't think you understand how huge it is. Okay. <laughs> Probably wouldn't hurt him. I mean, those pallets you could like pick up. Yikes. Cause like, they don't weigh anything, it's all the same. So like we said, what's the point in having a brewery unless there are perks, and what's the point of being friends with a brewer <laughs> unless there's perks? I don't know what it is, but I'll drink it. Maybe my soda beer that's covered in. Oh shit, so you're ready to drink a lot of sour beer right now. This is good. I didn't know that was gonna happen. <laughs> I'll take some of that. Hey, I love sour beers. Don't so, get it. It doesn't bother me at all. It is a nice manly color. Too. So we got a blackberry, raspberry, and a Buddha hand. I don't know what that is, but it's delicious. All right, we got the crew suiting up. As always, awesome times at Coppertail. Good people here, a lot of good friends. And of course, we ran into my man, Ohio Beer Nerd, down from, of course, Ohio. Uh, if you saw my AIM Expo video, you'll have seen him in there. Nate, always good hanging, buddy. Check him out on Instagram. Wait, well, hey, dude, if we see you at the next brewery, we'll see you. If not, Come by the shame or something before you leave. Casey, thanks again, man. Good, good people and good friends over there at Coppertail Brewery. Absolutely love it. This is why you're not going to find me sitting down at a place like Chili's. Like, if that's where you like to go eat or that's what you like to do, that's fine. But uh, I got too many friends that are running and working at local businesses around here to go sit down and have a beer and drink at a chain restaurant. Got a couple of kind of cool ideas kicking around with Casey. Nothing set in stone yet, but... He showed me the back area, Copper Tail, which would be an awesome spot for a meetup. And we're even talking about making a beer together. How about that? Who'd be into that idea? Shade Tree Surgeon gets his own beer. Of course, you know, collaboration with Copper Tail Brewery. Oh, sitting at that stoplight, like to cook my freaking leg, man. <laughs> the Rocket 3. It doesn't handle well, it's not comfortable, and it will literally set you on fire, but damn, does it go fast in a straight line. I headed up to Seventh Sun Brewery in Seminole Heights right now. <laughs> I was saying earlier, we could probably go to one brewery a week, and there's so many new breweries opening in Tampa, we just would never run out of ones to go to. I think we're gonna do something with Copper Tail, though. I really, I'd really like to throw an event there. And of course, Casey's into throwing an event. Maybe we'll like work it around making the beer and we'll have like a release party for the Shade Tree Surgeon beer, whatever it ends up being. I actually have no idea. We kept, kicked around a couple of concepts for what it might be, but yeah, nothing's set in stone. Hey, be careful with that. You don't own that. <laughs> Here to you. Up here at Seven Sun, and look who beat us here. 
already with a cold beverage. I dig your style, buddy. Lots to choose from up here. I got the Montana Orange, a pale ale with orange, cinnamon, and lactose. Tastes like a creamsicle wine. Delicious. All right, guys, just a little PS on the end of this video. We are doing a Shade Tree Surgeon meetup at the Social House here in Tampa for their bike night. It's gonna be this coming Sunday, February 23rd. Actually, their bike night is the last Sunday of every month, but we're specifically going to be set up at this bike night. The whole crew is gonna be out there. It starts at 5 p.m. I'll have the address for the Social House in the, in the description down below. Uh, it's here in Seminole Heights. It's a great place. It's owned by a good friend of mine. And last time we went to their bike night, a bunch of you guys showed up and we had an absolutely awesome time. So not only will Shade Tree Army be out in force and hanging out at the Social House's bike night, but we will be hopefully, hopefully debuting the new Shade Tree Surgeon merchandise, the new Brap Star t-shirts. Hopefully at the Social House's bike night, that will be your first chance to grab one of these shirts. Now, I don't know if they're gonna be here on time. <laughs> I still don't actually have them in my possession, so if you aren't following me on social media, please do so, at Shade Tree underscore Surgeon and at Brapstar, which is the name of the Shade Tree Army merchandise. I'll throw some pictures of the stuff we have coming out. If you guys are already following me on social media, you've seen these before, but Lee Stewart made these shirts. Uh, he made a video about making them, so you can kind of see that process, and then you'll know why I don't do Teespring. I don't do any of that online stuff. Every shirt that gets made gets made by hand and I pack that up myself and send it out. So if you want a chance to buy one early, come to the Social Houses Bike Night this Sunday. Hopefully, hopefully they're here. And if not, they will be going uh, for sale online the day after that. Anyway, hope to see you guys there. Hope the t-shirts actually arrive. I'll let you guys know on social media, on Instagram if they do. And uh, till next time, y'all, keep it weird.